Houston firefighters have been treating and transporting COVID-19 patients for months with extra precautions. Now add a tropical storm or a hurricane to that and things get more complicated. Certainly a, uh, a hurricane or a situation where we're having to evacuate large amount of people and, and, uh, and then find a, a shelter for them and, and treat them you know, beyond just the evacuation is certainly going to be a, a huge game changer for us. And if there are evacuations, they say they are better prepared than they were for Harvey. In fact, they say they've added 10 high water rescue vehicles. They have 20 boats, jet skis, and an 80-member water strike team to respond. The fire chief is urging people to add masks to their kits and to be ready. If we get into a situation where there is uh, mass flooding or, or those types of situations where we require large evacuations, the, uh, the exposure, the coronavirus is, is probably going to be secondary to the immediate need for rescue. The U.S. Secretary of Health and Human Services says health officials have already had to deal with the hurricane and COVID, and the government is prepared to respond. Uh, we actually recently went through this with Hurricane Isaias, where we were able to implement with FEMA and our local authorities different COVID-related hurricane protocols.